Join the flow. Event number three, Ooh. part one and two in pairs. For time split anyhow, 90 heavy wall balls. Ooh, heavy wall balls, they're savage. 70 cal row, Ooh. 50 deadlifts at 100 for the guys and 70 for the girls. 30 clean jerks at 70 for the guys and 50 for the girls. And then 10 rope climbs. This screen was going to fill a Hesketh program. Yeah, 100% is prepared stuff. This is prepared after prepared. This is your lower spine, <laughs> your forearms, and your cardio is going to get absolutely tested. This is a mega workout. I mean, again, in a pair of two. So would you pair this two guys or a guy and a girl? For me, for speed of just staying on the same bar, I would go out two guys and then go out two girls. But I don't know. I would go a guy and a girl because if you've got two bars out, you don't have to transition. You can just drop it and the other person can start lifting that bar straight away. Does that make sense? Yeah. As opposed to one person stepping in, one person stepping out. And I suppose the weights for the women, some of these girls are very strong girls. Mm. So a 50 kilo clean and jerk is going to possibly be a lot higher unbroken reps. And because you can break this however you want, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you have to do 50 each. You could, you could yeah. do 20 and you could do 10. And then it is just a 70 cal row, so it's not scaled in any way, so I think the lads could probably stay on that rower for a bit longer. Yeah. Pull out higher calories per hour, but then the weights for the heavy wall balls and the bars are actually scaled. So I think you leave the lad on the rower for a bit longer, and then maybe give more wall balls and more barbell to the girls. Maybe? Yeah, and also those rope climbs, you know, at least they're not legless. So that's a good start. Right, get ready to go in three, two, one and they're off. 90 heavy wall balls. I don't know if you've used the heavy wall ball before. I have. It's, and we actually discussed this yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Because we did 100 between us of normal wall balls. And like we said, a heavy wall ball, it's a different kind of movement mm -hmm. than a normal wall ball. And it's so interestingly, every team has gone out male, male. Okay. We've not got one that's done it in a different way. We're moving that pretty good for yeah. the first set. So the guys will be throwing these to 10 foot and the girls will be throwing it to 9 foot. So it looks like they're breaking them up into sets of 10, which I think is sensible. Especially with the amount of shoulder work that they've actually still got ahead. So Roger's throwing that higher than the target. I think he's in about 26 foot, I think, <laughs> Roger and Phil, I mean, I wonder what Phil's thinking about this, Phil programmed this, so, you know, has he, has he tested it before? Is this the first time he's tested it? Team Victor got knocked out doing transitions without the ball ball touching the floor, Ooh. which is a smart move. Not easily done. But realistically, switching out and trying to catch the wall ball on the way down saves you a couple of seconds. But those couple of seconds over nine transitions start to add up. It could be the difference between first and second place quite easily. It's quite hard to tell them how many reps everybody's on, but they've not really had a stop. No team's really stopped or just been slowing down. It was got a decent pace at the minute. Yeah. The height of some of the taller guys really starts to play on the row and the wall balls. Mm. But then when you come to the rope climbs again, they've got another nice advantage. It's quite a tall person's workout. Yeah. Deadlifts, again, longer levers. So we're expecting big things from Roger in this. I think he's one of the tallest guys out there. Also yeah. from you know guys that have got a 140 snatch. We're talking about those deadlift numbers in there, clean jerk numbers, that's Lightweight. It's like a toy weight. So rowing into wall balls. Did you do that workout? In the open? Yeah. Yeah. 
Four, yeah. three times. I did it once and my legs were broken for about three or four days. It's the breathing, I find, because both of the wall balls and the row, the chest doesn't open up that much. So Victor got knocked out at the first ones onto that row. We've got team hands on the second. You're in third. So that's what you need to do. If you're those teams in that bottom three, you need to start separating yourself between mm. those top two to start eating away at those reps. A hundred, a hundred points for a, a win. That's it's going to put you straight back. How would you break up this row? Seventy calories on the row. Kind of an awkward number for two of you, isn't it? It's difficult because you know. Okay, so a ten second row, a ten cal row is like what thirty seconds. Mm. But what you don't want to be doing is spending that time unstrapping your feet, strapping back in. You know, getting the fan moving again. Mm-hmm. I think maybe maximum amount of work you want this. It's a long workout as well. Do you do 35 cal each? And but you're going into, you know, depends how you're breathing down the next part of the movement, but mm-hmm. I think you don't want to be transitioning that much. I think I would go 20, 20, 15, 15. Nice. Yeah, so I mean you're giving yourself a little bit of you know again, people forget about a, a role, the grip level that's happening there going straight onto deadlifts, mm. cleans, and ropes. So yeah, you, you know, your grip could have been really tested. Everyone's pulling pretty big, fast numbers on there. So the first thing we're changing all, but... With calories as well, it does pay to sprint it a bit. Yeah. Just because they rack up exponentially as compared to meters. Would you be putting your dampness setting quite high on this? <sighs> Mm, how would you I'd probably have it about five or six. Okay. And then try and keep, so for me, I would try and keep my um, stroke rate at around 24 to 26 on this one. Yeah. Um, take less strokes, but take longer and bigger strokes on this, um, as opposed to ramping it up to like 36 and going full send. Loving it up. Yeah. That's how I approach the road, but I think it depends on the person. What do you do? Yeah, I think I'm a little bit lighter. So for me, more like 26, 28 mm-hmm. gets me a little bit better than the 24s. The 24s, I start quite well, but as, as it goes on, I, I'm not as powerful. So trying to get that stroke rate up a little bit more does better for me. But the, most of the guys now are getting onto those deadlifts. I love a deadlift, so I'll be happy with this. Yeah, 50 deadlifts at 100 kilos for the guys. Mixed grip? Double over hands? Uh, mixed for reps mm-hmm. like that. I think it's um, more powerful base, unless you, you know, you've got a huge upper grip. Um, the other thing with this as well is I think people will be tempted to do really big sets where I, I would say just change over slightly smaller ones. Mm. You know, you would say let's maybe do 25 each, but this is after a lot of work already. I don't think you're going to do more than 12. Not with the fact that you've got the cleaning jerks to come. Yeah. You, just, you know, your lower back goes, you know, and it's been on, it's been lower back heavy so far. We've had the wall balls the roll and now the ropes. So team knockout out is still ahead so as it stands. Papa Bjorn in lane one seems to be doing fives, sets of five, which I think is sensible. Alright, so you've got to change your own weights. So team knocked out onto 30 cleaning jerks at 70. How again would you, be, would you be trying to hold on to these or would you start doing the singles? Ooh, if it was training, I'd be doing fast singles. But when it comes to competition, you find that extra gear sometimes and you just hang on to the bar. So these guys have started and they seem to be doing three. That's so he's done three. three four. And he's very efficient on that. 70 kilo as well. You know, you, you look at your kind of 60 kilo for your usual kind of standard of it's a little bit heavy. So th- these guys are having to also do the overhead after you know, 90 more balls. Which is grasping the air out of that. Hang on to that bar, we're making it light work. I think this is where some of the teams and these guys, their strength is really pulling the bar. Here. So mm-hmm. I think the girls are really interesting how much lead they can give their teams for the girls. These are going one on one at the moment. That's good, they're having a bit of rest, like that's whatever works for you as a team. 
Yeah, remember they've got 10 rope climbs after this. How high would you say those ropes are? 15 foot? Yeah, so I mean, they're, they're, 15 foot. they're about the same, just a little bit bigger than the wall ball target, aren't they? Yeah, I reckon most of these lads on the rope climbs would do one big jump, pull, feet in, maybe like one more foot transition and touch and back down. So I reckon they'd be quite quick. Really interesting to see if anyone is really proficient on the ropes and that drop down. That's where I find a lot of people get very good at ropes. If oh, they can the do it and yeah, let's go and catch. Have you ever seen someone do butterfly rope climbs? What? Yeah. Ow. So they take the full grip, swing their legs back, and as they swing their legs forward, jump them back again. Oh, swing wow. Swing legs back, jump them around again. So some people with a really good butterfly can do the rope climbs in a, in at least in two with them, drop straight down. The speed is phenomenal, but obviously that pull and grip. So I'm guessing the guys have to touch the top bar. There we go. Nice. Seems to be going one and one, or well, Victor got knocked out, definitely going one and one. I think it's starting to slow down a little bit now just because the fatigue is getting in. They know we're ahead, everyone else is still working their way through. 30 cringer, it's a lot after the volume that we've done. So we touch that top bar just. Pack of Bjorn, moving on to the ropes. Let's nice. see how they do it. So actually you've got two foot. teams that have all just jumped on the ropes and you've got three on at the minute. Nah, there we go, that's... You've got that team there in... Uh, team lane one, so Papa Bjorn's like... Very good transition on those yeah. ropes now. I think it's quicker and it just saves so much energy just sliding down, but it's... Um, have you tried it? Have you done it? Yeah, so depending on what um, bottom half clothing I've got on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it depends how I do it. If I've got longer shorts on, it's worth it. Um, if I'm a little shorter shorts, I don't know how the middle of my legs feels the next day. But I, I tried it once and didn't realise that I put on my leg until I got into the shower. Inside my thigh, it just got big rope burn in it. Didn't realise it's got in the shower. Wow. So bits got knocked out. 951. 951, nice. So I guess there's a respite now until I think the girls the will females go. The second part of the workout, so maybe it's not exactly the same. That rope's swinging around now for this guy's in the in team fem. That is a that wrapping it round your foot, that very kind of old school crossfit movement of oh, doing he that. missed his feet there. You see a lot of the guys have got those, um, they've got their knee sleeves down on that shin. So they know exactly what they're doing. Um, they know how to do this in the right way. They know that they don't want tomorrow to have uh, those shins taken by the boxes in the rope. So we've got Papa Papa Bjorn done. Ooh, Ooh, the team pans, only three seconds between them. That's a real big could come back. I mean, they could mm. have had that. They would have pulled back 80 points. They would have pulled back 60. So separated out there. Team Fem looks like Roger that are a little bit kind of behind. Only 10 seconds separating those three teams. Oh, Roger, get your feet in. Nice. Oh, Roger going for a second one. Nice. Back to back rope climbs. They know they've. Oh, oh. oh no, he's really struggling to catch his feet there. Go on, Rog. Oh, he's, oh did he I, get that? I think he missed that. I think it was to be kind. I don't think he's going to have got this it. This must be their last rope climb. Nice. Damn. Phil's absolutely smashed through that there. Roger's worked his way through. I think there must have been a bit of a time cap because Roger was still working through his, his, uh, his ropes there in the background. But that, there we go, you got results for three. Yeah, part one, so I think that's how they've split that. So all the guys have gone out and done part one. Uh, two separately scored events. Oh, three, three seconds difference between Papa Bjorn and Team Pants. That's that's maybe just one hook of the legs on the rope climb. Yeah. Which team was it that was doing the transitions? Oh, it was Victor, Victor got knocked out. I think Papa Bjorn was doing the drop transitions.
So you sit down. Yeah. That's about as long as it be. Okay, so Vicar got knocked out. 20 points ahead of Pat Bjorn, but still all to play for because he's still got the girls to go yet. Team Pans, now that bottom three has changed dramatically, there's, there's a 14 point difference between the bottom team in there and Roger that. Team Fem with 120. Even if Roger that win the next one, it's only going to put them on 200 points and bring them up to third. So I think those bottom two teams can kind of, they don't have to fight for that bottom place now. I don't think they're going to be able to pull that back. Vic's got knocked out, 20 point lead. Papiano, that is close to those two. It's going to come down to one and it's going to be close. I like this workout. This is a good workout for me. Like, this is close to my strengths, I think. It's a bit naughty. It's, I think, yeah, you bigger guys with a bit of a rig. I think it's. Um, got some weight to move around. All right, so the last event is done. How are you guys feeling? Start. Well, I'm uh, I'm old, so I'm sore. <laughs> yeah, I'm 43, so I can feel it in my body, and uh, I'm definitely gonna rest tomorrow, and maybe a couple of more days. <laughs> so this is gonna hurt, but I feel good. I feel good. Uh, everything went well. Two of three events went really like to my expectations, and the first one I was I'm not so happy with, but otherwise. Really good and excellent teammates who, who carry me to gold when I need to. So I feel good. Uh, it's when you compete individual, the volume is higher, and when you do it in teams of two, you can you don't go to the same like tired level as when you do individual. So I I'm feeling good. Yeah. He doesn't, I do, to keep up with him, but he can <laughs> coast along with me. I try me. to push. <laughs> he pushes me to go red, then he can keep up. No, but it's good, yeah, and I feel the same. It's so much more fun to compete in teams than individual. And then, yeah, it's been, I mean, it's all three events in two hours, so it's a, still a high volume. Yeah, it's intense. It's intense, yeah. and uh, yeah, you have to try to hydrate and eat, and between, if you have, normally it can be three events in one day. Then you have like resting time, you eat, so this has been, uh, tough because it's like short time yeah. rest. But really good event and fun. Yeah. Nice. Alright. So what's, uh, what are expectations on the girls now for the next event? First place or or they get fired from the team. Exactly. Yeah. That's First it. place or no dinner. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Perfect. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Girls are off, so I'm expecting some fast stuff with it from the girls here. What was the fastest guy's time? It was around 14 minutes. I'm expecting some really fast times from these girls. Okay, so heavy wall balls, so nine kilos for the girls, for these heavy wall balls, and to nine foot rather than ten foot. Interestingly, it looks like the guys have left the room. I think they're all kind of feeling it from the previous workouts. <laughs> Get themselves some bagels. Absolute solid movement there from the guys in, uh, in lane one. She's very, very efficient. She's very good. Just like she said yeah, she just she said that. How can we break this up? They're breaking up into tens, do you think? It looks like it. There's no one doing big sets on this. Yeah, you can't with the heavy wall ball, it just absolutely buries you. I'm going to set 10 is one person's going to do an extra set. Unless you broke it up a little bit more in the last, oh, dropping that one. This is the one you said was really efficient. Yeah, I'm really, really twice. sorry. I think that's that curse, commentator's curse. Yeah, you've jinxed it now. Yeah, heavy war balls. What would you rather do? Would you rather do the extra set of wall balls or would you actually do an extra few calories on the row? I think it's going to be lower for me. Would you? It's going to it smaller. Drop that. No. I think mean, anything gets protein with like. It's a regular brownie.
There's a lot of energy being zapped out of that room today. Yeah, these guys are probably feeling it. We should do one of these in the UK. I was just about to say, we need to have one of these. Zach George is not invited. No. <laughs> You've got games training to do, you can't take part in this. I think that's really interesting. You know, you've seen here there is people who are games athletes who are True. into the games. And in the team of four format, they're not actually pulling away that much. They're not, mm. you know, you look at Phil and Mio and they're, they're actually in the teams towards the bottom end. Mm. No, you've got Victor in two bits got knocked out, but again, there's not there's not been, I would say, a huge disparity between any of the teams. No one's been really bad. Uh, team got Victor got knocked out first place. Team Pans, which we found out was actually mean Tank in Swedish. So we might just call him Team Tank from now on. I wonder whether that's because they resemble a tank, they roll in like a tank, or they just like wearing the tank tops. I love wearing a tank top. I mean, I, 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 I in fact, have an allergy to sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> which I think most of the athletes here also have. It's something that sees happening across it. Yeah, as soon as you walk into across the gym sometimes. I'm surprised the tops and stuff have stayed on. Branding. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to put you on the spot here, Cotton. Which team, if you were going to be one of these teams, Ooh. which team would you have gone in? And don't just glory on, you know, think about the overall, what team would you have gone in? I'd probably have to go into Team Tank, wouldn't I? Just because... You got a bit of a rig. I just like wearing tank tops. I think of myself as a bit of a tank. <laughs> I think I'd like to be with Roger. I think I want to be with Roger that. I know they're at the bottom, but for me, I think they'd be having a lot of fun. Roger's a crazy guy. Phil Heskiff also programmed this. So, Ooh, yeah. You know, you've got a bit of inside knowledge there. I think that'd be really fun to, to, to be with. Phil Heskiff ripping the UK. Go on, lad. I also feel, and hopefully Phil won't take any offence to this, but I also feel like Phil's very underrated and very not spoken about. Not, he's been to the games. Individual, as yeah. an individual, twenty fourteen, as a Brit, and you mm. know, people talk about Steve Forsey, but they very rarely mention how great an athlete Phil is. And he's also young; he's not, he's certainly not, you know, anywhere near a master's. I had a good chat with him at Norway, which he was nice lad. Interesting move as well to go out to Sweden. He followed his heart. Mm. Well, he went out to um, UAE first, didn't he? Was he a uh, Alif? Alif. Alive? How do you say it? I don't know. You say it. Alioth. 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 Sounds like a, a Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Alioth. We got him, Alioth. So yeah, I mean, anyone who's going to be following this, this competition has been really good. All the girls are on the rowers. You know, we've just been able to see a different like caliber of athlete in this from some of the local throwdowns that you have here in the UK. There's some really good girls. I mean, pretty much everyone's on the everyone's on the row. Quick changeover is there. Really nice changeover in, in lane one. Getting that. Oh, she's getting that going now. Have you noticed that when you do uh, when you pair movements together, one of them being rowing, the rowing technique changes? Have you ever done that? Yes. So like wall balls or anything squatty, all of a sudden you start using a lot of lower back yeah. on the rower <laughs> and a lot less quad. Also, I, I kind of find that you know that you're going doing these deadlifts, you need to not fall in that trap. Mm. Because that lower back compression in the hip, what that does on your hips from being in those positions in the wall ball and then the row, yeah. you're going to start feeling that on those deadlifts. Pretty much every girl's team is now on the deadlifts. I wonder if some of them have lit started the deadlifts by the ropes. Just about. So a 70 kilo deadlift. For the girls here, so it's still pretty heavy. Like. As I say, for most of these girls, this is above body weight. You know, a couple of those guys, a hundred kilo, may have been here to body weight. Yeah. Where I'd say every single one of these girls is, is having an a above body weight. Look this going on. You can light work with these deadlifts in lane one. Again, fishing. You know, I, I know I kind of commented and messed them up a little bit on there, but yeah, I think Papa Bjorn are twenty points behind team knocked out in the overall leaderboard, so they'll have to win and get someone, ooh. Okay, so that just met, so Team Tank just pulled ahead. So they've actually just messed that right back up again. 
Oh, we all need to finish ahead of Victor got knocked out it's and hope tank. that Team Tank keep the lead. On to the 50 kilo cleaner jerks. Nice. Making them look easy. Very easy. Also, the, the teams have had to take their own weights off. They've not had another bar prepped. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's another thing that you need your teammate to be ready to help take one of those sides off. Little transitions. Nice. So Papa Bjorn are going to have to get ahead of Team Knocked Out to tie for the overall leaderboard. Going on to singles now, the belt's off for the clean jerks. I think what you said earlier about just hanging on, it's a competition. Hanging out a little bit longer is going to be a big difference here. I think those guys that are doing singles, it looks efficient, but when you've got these girls that are moving through to perhaps four or five right now like she is, you're going to, you're going to be falling behind. Everyone's ladies are playing really, really good. It's, it's a small venue, they're all quite packed into each other, but they're, they're staying where they need to be. No one has tactics from any of these teams, I'm guessing they're all friends. What would be your go-to trash talk? Trash talk? Yeah, what would you be saying to those? Little, little yeah, no rep, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you lock out those arms, stand up that rep, mate. I like to say Get about how they're head. looking pretty tired. Oh yeah, that's a good one. So like, are you all right? <laughs> you, you look really, really tired, or your colours change a yeah. little bit. Or maybe just a little bit. Of, have they loaded that bar up correctly? Because you're struggling with that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, team Tank and Team Knocked Out onto the rope climbs at the same time. It's going to be a close one between those. Team Knocked Out need to keep that going. I think they probably put themselves ahead enough of Papa Bjorn to, like, to hold this out. It looks like they managed to do that. Girls, obviously a little bit smaller, having to just have an extra sort of pull and slide on that rope just to get to the top, oh, just about. It's also pretty disheartening when you've got a workout like that where you can visibly see the other teams on the next movement. Hmm. You kind of have that moment of, do I pick this up or you know, how far behind am I going to be? What I find interesting about rope climbs is not necessarily how quick you can get up it, it's how quickly you can get back down as well. Yeah. And if you can slide down that rope, you're saving so much energy. Think about that bicep tension of when you're holding on. And oh, yeah. I mean, it's such a shame, obviously, what's going on, that it's a really small crowd, because this is some awesome performances. Everybody's throwing everything. It's not a training session. They're, they're really taking this as... Yeah, they're probably position. going for it. So I think... Everybody's on the ropes now. No, we've got one team, Team Femme is still on the bar. Well, I don't see anyone catching Team Swedish Tank. They really picked it up from the sort of mess of the first workout. Yeah, considering. And they might even pull, depends on how Papa Bjorn do it, but if they win this, that's 100 points. Papa Bjorn will be picking up 60. That's a 40 point clawback. Whoa, that was a fantastic one. So Papa Bjorn, uh, no, so it's the team. Oof, one second. <sighs> so they started the road climbs at the same time. Jeez. One second between first and second place. It's Team Tank that are showing you how, even if you start off the day, but mm -hmm. if you hang on, you're going to pull yourself back right up there. Crazy, I have a 10 minute workout with that many different movements and one second separates the two teams. One second. Unbelievable. I mean, if I was knocked out, I think I'd probably do it. <laughs> I don't know. Check all those reps. Yeah, Make sure those arms being locked out. Papa Bjorn coming in in third place, 11-17. So I think they won't be in the lead there. I think they'll be in second place overall, maybe third place. After those two uh, performances from Team Swedish Tank. Roger that. The other thing as well from this point is we didn't actually see the results from the men's added to this, did we? So it is literally, this is what it's all to play for. I mean, that's... Is like team Fem just finishing off their last few road climbs. Roger that. Again, my team, the team I, I really want to be in, they, they came in there. Really and respectable for. All finished.
All under 12 minutes. Pretty good, that. Pretty even. So, 100 points for Team Tank. We've got 80 for Victor got knocked out. Papa Bjorn picked up just 60 on that one. Roger that. They weren't far behind Papa Bjorn. Mm. That, that could have really messed it up. And Team Fem, kind of 25 seconds after, after Roger that. I wonder who picked these teams and decided who was in which, which team. Do you think they did the old school turn around, pick a number? <laughs> no, like names in the house. Like that. <laughs> that was the way to do it at school. Just yeah. complete random assignment. Since you had one kid who was happy being a goalkeeper. <laughs> bags are not in net. Turn around, touch the ground, bags are not in net. Yeah. <laughs> Final results are in. Victor got knocked out in first place with 360 points. <sighs> Papa Bjorn, 320, so only 40 points behind. Team Swedish Tank, Pansarvag, no, no, one final attempt at pronouncing it, on 240. And then Team Fem and Roger that in joint last position on 140 points. It's kind of nice, it means no one was a loser. Yeah, considering how bad they did in the first workout. Oh, to, to claw that back. To get back into third position. It's a bit of a shame, it'd been interesting if they'd have got the communication a bit better on the first workout mm. to see, they, I think they could have won that. Because the crazy thing was, is they were doing the bar muscle ups, but they were alternating them, <laughs> yeah. not doing them at the same time. So they had the ability of just the, the organization, the communication, which is what happens in team sports. Is yeah, it's not just down to the individuals. All right, I think that's the end. Yeah, I mean that was a, a really good example of Noko athletes, ambassadors, great mix going on there, and hopefully from the debut of Britain and Dollar commentary. Yeah. I quite enjoyed that, what about you? I did. Live and direct from Noco UK HQ. Dollar and Britain signing out. You stay classy Sweden. Peace. Yeah.